Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I feel like recently I went through a phase where there was like no shoes dropping that I really liked or I just felt like it wasn't really giving me. And then I feel like all of a sudden, I feel like this happens throughout the year, all of a sudden there is literally just one shoe after another dropping and there is still so many more to come. I've entered so many raffles in the last two weeks and I can't lie, I've lost so, so many as well. But I have won some. So today we're gonna do a review on the Jordan 6 on the UNC colorway. In general, I feel like a UNC colorway, it doesn't even matter what silhouette is in, it's always a good choice. So I've been really excited to review these. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So as usual, we're gonna talk about the box because this is a special box, even though there's nothing actually really special about it, apart from the colorway. I just love this colorway. So wherever I see this color, I'm just like, oh, I love it. But yeah, you've just kind of got your normal box on the bottom, it's got the speckle. But yeah, the colorway on the box is always a winner. And here we have the start of the show. We have the Jordan 6 in the UNC colorway. These colors just work so beautiful together and they're giving me retro vibes. Obviously we have this blue and then we also have the white and we have some black and we do have some navy accents which we will go into in a second so obviously this is normal jordan 6 silhouette it is mainly made up of leather and nubex we have the nubex in this blue and then we have the white leather as well which kind of overlays on the whole entire shoe in terms of laces you have normal white sanded laces and of course you have a toggle at the top when i first kind of had this toggle i wasn't really sure about it but i've kind of it's kind of grown on me over the years i kind of do like it i feel like like it does it does make the shoe so it is essential that it has to be there and um, this is in navy and it has the jordan sign as well but obviously if you didn't want this you can literally just take it off um the tongue as well is probably one of my favorite parts of this shoe so we do have this navy foam tongue as you can see but as you can see we have this satin patch here again in this unc colorway which is absolutely stunning with the navy jordan logo this badge here does actually come off at the top. So if you did want to release them, they kind of make it a little bit easier for you. And it is very, very stretchy. And then you literally just clip it back up to the top, which I can't do right now. I managed to clip it back on, but that brings me to the top. We have this transparent part here. And then we obviously have the Jordan logo here at the top. If we move around to the back of the shoe, we have this plastic clip here, which is standard for a normal Jordan 6. And then we have this blue kind of strip across it. Then we have this badge at the back, obviously, is stitch on the stitching is impeccable well done night is nice to have a different logo on the back other than just kind of the normal standard jumpman logo moving on to the inside of the shoe as i said we'll show you the design you can take the insoles out really really easily on the shoe and they feel so nice they're so soft so comfort wise this is gonna be lovely but yeah this is the design that i was talking about which is quite cool it's kind of got all the colors of the colorway of the shoe on it as well behind the tongue you have that same detail which is obviously what you can actually see behind the transparent piece here moving on to the sole this is where we have the black accents that feature as well as you can see um, and then we also have the white and on the bottom of the sole we have this gorgeous transparent baby blue and obviously the Jordan logo in that color. Again, this matches the design of the inside of the shoe, this kind of jagged effect. After trying them on, I can confirm that they are actually so, so comfortable. I definitely think they're probably more comfortable than like a Jordan 1, um, which is absolutely amazing. And I was actually really surprised with. These came in at 190 pounds. So they are quite pricey, but I feel like you are getting something different. And I can't lie, the quality of this shoe, I am impressed with. But I mean, I am paying 190 pounds, so the quality should be up there. In terms of sizing, I got a size seven, which is my normal true to size. So if you are looking at getting these, make sure you get your true to size size. In terms of resale, I had a look on StockX and they're not really reselling for a lot of money, which is amazing if you are trying to pick these up. Um, I am really surprised that I feel like these are a little bit underrated. A lot of people, I think maybe because it's a Jordan 6, I feel like the Jordan 6 isn't one of the most popular silhouettes. To be honest, for me, I'm not usually a fan of Jordan 6s. I feel like for a Jordan 6, the colorway has to be spot on. Otherwise, I'm not really interested. I don't know what it is about the silhouette. I feel like for me, 
it just feels really long. Like I think I have quite big feet. And so I feel like I don't want to get shoes that make my feet look even bigger, if that makes sense. Overall, I am really, really impressed with this shoe. Absolutely love it. And it gives off major summer vibes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if anyone managed to pick these up or are trying to pick them up. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.